I've been traveling full-time in my 2021 Pacifica minivan for a year and a half. This is only the third time that I've changed everything around, a different arrangement in my no-build camper. This is my original van setup. This is how it looked when Bob Wells did the uh, van tour. I'm still using pillows for my clothes. I still have those same pillows, plus maybe a couple more. I'm at a beautiful forested campground in New Hampshire. Didn't know I'd be spending much time here, but Lulu had a little meetup here. And this has been great. Lee left this morning to go to a family event. And here's that, this is what I use as a cover for the back so that bugs don't get in. This is also glow in the dark. Uh, it's black light, I should say. This uh, glows really pretty at night, but it keeps the bugs out and it's privacy too. I have it attached up here along the edge with magnets to secure it. I think it's a great option for keeping bugs out and for privacy. Then I have a new addition. I have an awning. I like this kind of awning. It gives you plenty of room under it. You can set it up higher or lower if it's, say, windy or if the sun's coming from what would be on the left of the screen here. I can lower it all the way down and it's still shady and you can walk under it. Very nice. I'm going to be shopping for a new chair. This one folds up pretty small and goes up in the roof rack, but it's not really all that comfortable. I use a step to get in. I have another new addition. Got my logo on the side, on both sides, a little magnet. If you get some of those, be sure to take them off when you go through a car wash, because I didn't and it came off. So here's the entrance. I get up on this and it's all been changed around. I'll show you all the details. That's some storage there. This is the ultimate in storage here. Got my little nautical lamp there. That's my bed. Plenty of room for a chair. I really debated on whether one person in such a tiny space really needs one, two, three chairs in a tiny space. I debated long and hard. But because I have the bed the way it is, I still have all the room in the back um, for storage. The reason it's nice is because when it's raining, as it did all day yesterday, you've got a little living room. The bed's up higher for more storage, but I can still sit up on this bed. But I have storage underneath, and I'll show you all of that. So I have a... a a more pleasant place to sit and edit or on a rainy day. I've got clothes in those pillows. And then I've got a stack of pillows over here I use to prop my feet up at night. And of course there are clothes in there too. So when I'm sitting back here, I can reach to the back. I can get in my little refrigerator right behind me. I've got uh, some storage there. I can reach anything in that one. Actually, if I got up on my knees in this chair, I could reach anything down there in the bottom. That, that lamp looks so pretty at night. It also can be a full lamp. It's not my main lighting. I just like it because it's cute. And this, with the um, flickering light on, with a flame, artificial flame light, it's just a very pleasant way to relax at night. This is a tray here that I can put on the bed. It has a little edge on it so that I can use it on the bed for one thing or another, set things on. Okay, so starting at the bottom, the reason I got this uh, metal shelf here, this is the same kind of metal shelf that I have in the back, it's just a little bit smaller. But the thing about these shelves is you can adjust the height right here. You can adjust the height of each of these shelves. So I made it high enough that I could put both of my power stations in here. I've got the Blue Eddy and the Oops 1200, which I love the 1200. Um, but 
having a 1200 and a 700 doesn't, it's not the same as adding up to 1900. It's very nice, you know, I can just charge one of them, like the Blue Eddy will charge pretty quickly because it's a lot smaller, it doesn't take as much charge. Okay, so I've got the heaviest part on the bottom, and they're both right up here uh, where I have access to them, rather than, I had one of them in the back. The next shelf has these two little guys. You know, you always need a space for those little things that get lost all the time. Big bins are not good for those. One of them facing forward here, but the other one wouldn't fit facing this same direction, so I made it face toward the door, which is very nice for things that I might want to grab when I'm outside. Okay, then I have bungee corded. I don't know if I'll end up with this one in the end, but I have a, uh, a bin sort of thing bungee corded up here on the top of this shelf, so it won't go anywhere. But these are just things that I might want to grab at night. Various things in there, things that you want would want to have on a nightstand. I like these. I've had this there. These uh, window covers have been on there since the very beginning. That's not wood, it's just uh, contact paper. These were not that easy to get in and out, so they haven't been moved since I left a year and a half ago. But this seems really comfortable and convenient for me. There's my computer right there. Fits nicely right there. But I'm going to take you around the other side and show you how much storage there is. First, maybe I'll show you how I can get to the storage bins from right here inside. But there's this great big bin here that slides out. It's it's as wide as the bed. It's 25 inches long, this bin is, and it's tall. I can pull the bin out from the inside here, or I can pull it out from the other side. Got a lot of distance between the chair and over here where this shelf stand starts. These are very sturdy. This shelf stand will hold a total of 750 pounds. And of course, I've got the most weight down here at the bottom. Really handy to have those power stations where I can get out them right there. I think it still looks cute. I went completely for cute before. Now, after a year and a half, I'm going for practical. Here is another turtle. You might think I like turtles. There is another little turtle. You might think I like turtles. Actually, sea creatures. I love sea creatures. Good friends in the forest. Beautiful, comfortable surroundings. Yesterday, it actually rained all day, and this was so cozy in here. I just sat here and edited and watched videos and fix a snack or whatever. Right here, very convenient. Oh, I gotta tell you that about this little guy. I think I've shown it before. This is one of my favorite lights. I've got a lot of lights that I like a lot. You know what? This is so simple. It's on the handle so that when you come in, you just kind of punch it like that and the light comes on. It's nice and bright. Of course, it's daytime now. You don't see it as well. LED lights, USB charged. I had this for a bicycle. It goes on the handle of a bicycle and it's just got this little rubbery strap that goes around and hooks right here so that it's very much out of the way. So you don't have something big like this hanging. It's just out of the way. And when you come in at night, you can just flip that on or reach over from the bed and flip it on. Really convenient. Here's another favorite light. It can be USB charged, but it's also solar. It can be a bug light. I don't know if you can even see that. Yeah, there it is. You can see that it's a bug light and it actually works. It can be a flashlight, a regular flashlight. You can dim the flashlight so you can hang it from up here. And then it has one more mode, which I like for at night, which is softer. It's not that uh, very harsh light like that. It's very, we go through the things, it's very soft. And that's for nice for at night. Most of the time when I have a campground, I have my potty tent set up, a privacy tent. And that's where this toilet would go. This is one of those accordion type toilets. I've got it nice and secure right now, but if you just twist it, it will flatten down to where it's only as wide as this. So this can, you can use this as a camp stool, as a garbage can. You open it up and there's a toilet seat there. See, a toilet seat. Now, 
I keep bags on it here, a backup, you might say. And here's the secret to this kind of toilet, I think. This has openings right here. It has some openings. So to me, that's not very secure with just bags in it. So what I did, I found a canister. That bag just goes right down into that canister. Then it goes over the top like that. And the toilet seat comes down and really secures it. Very solid. This is comfortable. It's not soft, but it's quite comfortable. And then, of course, you can close it up like this. And you can even secure it with these latches if you want to. Now, for absorbency, I'll show you what goes down in there. I tried kitty litter in here. Kitty litter is made for a couple of tablespoons of uh, kitty volume. <laughs> Not made for humans. It's very heavy. It, some of it can have some dust to it. So kitty litter is not a good s solution if you need an absorbent. Next thing I tried was uh, horse pellets or wood pellets. They work pretty good, but they're very heavy and you have to get a 40 pound bag of them and then you have to figure out where to store it. And here's the latest solution that I have that I am really, really loving. These pieces right here, these are much thicker than a paper towel. And not only are they absorbent, they also turn any liquids to gel. I use two of them. You, that may not be necessary, I'm not sure, but just this backup. And I put these down in here. And what happens is that's absorbent now. And it, it takes care of odors. It works really perfect. I'll leave a link to them. But for a 90 day supply, it's not much bigger than a a box of Kleenex for a 90 day supply, three months. So I think that's a huge advantage over a big old 40 pound bag of horse pellets. When I'm camping, this potty goes out in the privacy tent, so I have all this room, but it works okay in here too for when I'm not camping. From this side, I can use this as a footstool. I kind of put a blanket or something on it so it's a little softer. Perfect setup for me. Everybody's different. I'm not poking holes in it. I'm not doing a build here. A lot of people like the option of moving things around or taking things out and using it for a daily driver. This is a 2021. I'm not poking holes. Most people leave the small side up on the passenger side, so they have to walk around the car to get into their bed from the passenger side because they have the bed over here on the driver's side. Part of the third row seat is holding the bed up. I've got the whole well in the back. This really gave me more storage and most efficient use of every inch of the minivan as a no-build. That's the tour of this part. Nothing going on in the front seat. I don't keep anything up there and I don't have to transfer things back and forth from front to back when I need to get in the back. I don't have a driving mode and a camping mode. It's all the same because I don't have to transfer. I've got enough storage now. I don't need to transfer anything back and forth. I got my seat for the driver's seat and Coco's seat's right there. She's got her bed and her halter for uh, her seatbelt. So everything's safe and cozy. I am building my bed a different way with these nice shelves I just picked up from Walmart. More details to come. Hang in there. This is the base of the bed before. I'm going to be cutting off, I think, five inches. I've got to measure a couple more times, and that will be the base of the bed. For this job, I bought a HyperTuff reciprocating saw, and it scares me. <laughs> but I took five inches off of each one, and now I'm going to hammer the top back on it. This board is 24, the same width as the mattress. It's 24 by 48 this way. So this fits right on top of this shelf and it goes from the passenger seat, the back of the passenger seat, up onto the third row seat. So I'm using part of the third row seat as the bed base. The board 
doesn't go all the way to the back but that's where my feet will be and I've got a six inch mattress going on top of it so I think it's going to work out. The mattress is a little too long. I don't need the big reciprocating power tool saw for this. Instead, I am using a little Black and, De Black and Decker carving knife. That's in there. I cut it down. It fits nicely. I have this leftover piece of a tri-fold three inch mattress and it just fits right here in front of the mattress to protect the seat from the wood that's underneath here. This goes all the way down that a piece of mattress does. It's just the right size and now the bed fits perfectly and that's the back of the third seat there. Now I have rigged up a protection for the car. Don't want the um, wood of the bed rubbing up against this right here where it would hit. So I put an extra piece of foam, I cut it to fit in there, and it's jammed in with this other piece of foam. This is protecting the chair, that's protecting the car. So I have these very large bins that pull out under the bed. It'll hold two of them. That's more storage. Between the chair and this uh, bed base, there is room for another bin right there. And then some more stuff crammed in right there. So a lot of extra space. I'm, I'm really liking this arrangement. Forest all around. Got a lot of friends here. What a great way to camp.